Okay, we're back to Hogwarts Legacy. Um, lost it. I recorded earlier, but I lost it a little bit. I lost it. It didn't record any auto, so audio. So we're just gonna start right here. Um, talking to some few people about Harlow, trying to find out more information about him. Spoke to two people. Now I'm going to go speak with Agabus Bilbert. And he's this way. Revelio. Actually, before I go over there, Alohomora. Let's break in the gear. Agabus Filbert must be around here somewhere. Hello there. Hello there. Excuse me, Mr. Filbert. I wondered if I might speak with you about your dealings with Theophilus Harlow. I hope to ease Mrs. Bickle's mind by gathering evidence against him. Oh, tragic what happened to Bickle. He wanted me to speak out against Harlow for an act of violence committed against me. But I feared Harlow's retaliation, and so I refused. If you had spoken out against him, as Mr. Bickle asked, perhaps Harlow would be locked away by now. Perhaps. But... Uh, perhaps I would have suffered a similar fate. You said that Harlow committed an act of violence against you. Could you tell me what happened? Before my extraordinary wife, Dulcibella, passed away, she had just completed a small book of poetry. Dulcibella. As a surprise for her birthday, one she never had the chance to celebrate, I had the book beautifully bound and plated in gold. One day, Harlow came calling to punish me for having spoken out against the Neanderthals that comprise Brookwood's lot. Before I knew it, I'd been petrified, and Harlow was rifling through my home. He found the book of poetry with its exquisite gold plating. I watched helplessly, lying there in my entranceway as he walked away with the book, laughing as he went. I was shaken to my core. Still am, to be honest. I imagine you fear Harlow retaliating again. But do you mind if I share this information with Officer Singer? <sighs> I suppose I have no choice. This extortion can't go on forever. What a jerk. I'll pass it on to anyone who may be willing to help. Harlow does not like people talking. Hello, Hamora. As you already know. I've spoken with Mr. Bickle's friends. Now to find Natty. Now to find Netty. Oh, don't mind me, sir. Just Revelio. breaking into your house. Oh, there's a sheet of paper outside. Oh, my gear slots are full. Um, let me check. I'm looking at the wrong thing, but uh, one second. There we go. Can't. Oh, it's locked. 81. Seven. Uh, we're going to. Like that. I don't wear a lot. 
lot of glasses. Oh, that goes up. That goes up. That goes up. Oh, that's the one I'm using? Do we have any more? Oh, gross. What? That just had money in it. Oh yeah, it's outside, it's outside. Excuse me, I gotta get this paper I saw. Uh... It was out here, where did it go? Excuse me, sir. Didn't mean for that to happen. Revelio. Oh, there's a place I can break into right here. Excuse me, fellers. Hello, Hamora. say oh yeah I got to complete Merlin trials I forget that I got to do that I don't wear a lot of hats but uh... no, I don't wear that no, that no I don't uh, I'll probably keep that Testies right there. More chesties. That one goes up. That one goes down. That one goes up. That one goes down. goes down. That goes up. Rebellion. Staggering. Even with magic. Work hard and don't be afraid. I go back. Um, something I should do first, since I have the money to do it. I'm here for the fastest broom in the world. What are we looking for today? Did that upgrade my quest. Oh, now it updated. 
me check. I'll wait. I'll wait. Rebellion. It's not like Natty to be late. She said she was going to the hog's head. Perhaps I'll find her there. That's Aberforth's place. She got kidnapped. We're calling it. Natty must be around here somewhere. Rebellion. Natty's wand. Her wand. She can cast without it. She wanted me to find this. She's in trouble. Revelio will show me where she was taken. Before before I do that, I need this gear. That probably gonna be like um. It's just gloves. Revelio. Nosy little students get what's coming to them. <laughs> Better hope I don't come back, sir. Natty must have been taken this way. I need to find her quickly. Ashwinder hideout. Let's take him out! And what save led to this her room. student. There must be another way forward. Akio! Hidden door. That's taken this way. I need to find her quickly. I'm gonna find all of them. Gear slots are full. Every time I hear it, it makes me feel like, um, the, um, talking about that's the um the whatchamacallit the new and tina theme rebellion be sure I'm not seen. Revelio. There's so much treasure around. Hey, 
These people don't want me to see what they're really all say better get a really good look. The good will lead. I forgot how to fight. Fight. Revelio. Just gonna look down here, see what's going on. that was taken from Agabus Filbert. He'll be thrilled to have this back. Revelio. Uh -huh. uh, before I go over there. Everything's upstairs, yes? Uh, 
Oh, okay, I see. I see. Revelio. Very confused. Revelio. That's weird. Revelio. There it is. The love letter. Otto Dibble's love letter from Rosie. He wanted me to destroy this if I found it. I have found everything. Let's move on. Natty must be here somewhere. Isco. Mr. Rape, Daisy told me you'd been abducted. You spoke with my wife. How is she? Worried about you. Are you all right? I am all right. Thank you for coming. These locks are cursed. Kind of look like me. There's an anti-apparition jinx on the cells. Even Natty's skill with wandless magic cannot free us. I need you to find my wand. Use mine. We'll find yours together once you're out of there. I need my wand for this. Using one with which I have no connection may not work as well or as quickly, and we cannot risk detection. I shall do my best. Any idea where it might be? It's nearby. I can sense it. Understood. I'll find it. I'll find it. Revelio. Rebellion. It's in this room, huh? Mr. Rabe's wand must be nearby if he can sense it from his cell. Lumos. Hear something? I'm looking. Revelio. Lumos. Lumos. Hmm. 
Nobody tell me where it is. Rebellion. Oh. Mr. Rape's wand could be in there. It was hiding. Mr. Rape's wand. He'll be glad to have this back. Mr. Rape, I found your wand. Well done. I knew it was nearby. Now, you best stand back. One never knows how a curse will react to being broken. Look it up. You're free. Thank you, Mr. Isco. My pleasure. And thank you, my friend. We owe our lives to your bravery. I may be too weak to disapparate with you both, but I can try. You go ahead. Find Officer Singer. We will get out of here on our own. Very well. But be careful. Thank you, my young friend. Be prepared. Be prepared. These ash winders must pay. Oh, more money. Oh, more money. Was there more over here? Whoa. I cannot see. Let's find Officer Singer and put an end to Harlow once and for all. Okay. So I guess I was supposed to sneak by and then we would take him out afterwards, but I guess I Not just took him out. Oh, no. I. I should have known. And you, patrol dispatcher. Oh, thank goodness the two of you are safe. Isco Rabe told me a couple of students had rescued him. Should have known it was you two. Is Mr. Rabe all right? He is. I sent him home to his wife. Miss Onai, your mother will not be pleased to learn that you're still risking your safety pursuing these dangerous men. Actually, Officer Singer, Natty and I learned of several Hogsmeade residents who've had their lives threatened by the Ashbinders. In addition to abducting Mr. Rabe to blackmail his wife and Natty, Rookwood and Harlow have also extorted Agabus Filbert and Otto Dibble. Uh, I will look into all of that. As for the two of you, I appreciate what you're trying to do, but you are taking great risk. Next time, please let the authorities handle the Ashwinders. Yes, officer. Understood. Do you have enough evidence to take down Harlow and the rest of Rookwood's lot? Well, it's certainly a good start. We shall see. But you can leave this to me now. Fine. Natsai, you may wish to speak with your mother about this before I do. My mother will not like that. Thank you again for rescuing me. We shall speak soon. Okay, dope. You're all set with the new upgrade. I can't wait to hear what you think. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> this may sound presumptuous. This is so but weird. You'd like me to report back with even more flight details. <laughs> you know me well. I feel I'm almost there. I just think I can improve broom flight a bit more. Miss Ray's is running a time trial at the South Coast course. Not ideal, really. What with rumors of Ranrock's lot and yeah, Ashwine that's yeah. infiltrating the place. However, if you're flying high above them, you should be all right. I think. I'm not worried, Mr. Weeks. I'll see if I can find a Melda. I hope you are able to complete these trials. I have a feeling this final upgrade is going to be a sweeping success. <laughs> Do be careful, of course. I shall look forward Good to one. hearing from you soon. Good one. The Ash Winders have ceased pestering me. I suspect that's your doing. 
thank you from me and Rosie both. We're just leaving for our honeymoon, after we tell Mr. Hill of our recent marriage. Wish me luck. Man, I'm good. All right, let's see what we got, ladies and gents. I need three more pages, Demon Guy statue around here somewhere, and then three more collection chests. This. Ah, what's this? Oh yeah. Let's go see what this guy has to say. Revelio. Alohomora. Hello, Humora. Standard Book of Spells, Chapter 7. Revelio. I'll talk to you in a second, sir. Oh, hey, my it shop. It is wonderful to see you back here. Hey. Penny wishes you safe and wondrous travels. That's cool. Cool, 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 cool. Revelio. Talk to you in a minute, sir. Alohomora. Revelio. Giant purple toad statue? Not bad. Revelio. Pardon me, sir. About those curious demigod statues I've seen. What? Who are you? Why do you ask? They're quite clever. Oh, thank you. A lot of craftsmanship and care went into them. I, I assume. So you huh? did create them? I... <sighs> yes, I did. It was a ploy to give that pathetic oaf Moon a taste of the grief he caused me years ago. You are the one who's been pilfering them. I am, at the request of Mr. Moon. I received your owl on your stationery. <clears throat> ah, well, fitting Moon would enlist a student, too cowardly to do it himself, <laughs> hasn't changed a bit. Even when we were at school, he was a cowardly bully, gave me a horrible nickname, which I shan't repeat. I was thrilled when we left school and he seemed gone for good. I'm curious. Then I started seeing him what around was this nickname? Hotspeed. It was too much. Even if I do take satisfaction in that his life's destiny was to be a lowly caretaker. 
Mr. Moon does a good deal for the school, and he's taught me a lot. He's terrified of those statues. <laughs> <laughs> I know. You should have seen his face when that boggart appeared. Oh, priceless. That's when I knew what I needed to do. I simply didn't want to encounter him anymore. So, I shrewdly put a boggart in his path to learn his greatest fear. I then created Demi the guys. Demi guy statues to keep him in his place, so to speak. The moons were inspired play on his name. It worked brilliantly. Until you started clearing them out. Sounds as if Mr. Moon deserved what he got. But perhaps it's time you both moved on. Ah, fair point, I suppose. If they've terrified him, as you say, he may have learned his lesson. He's a drunk. Revelio. Gonna leave just yet. I got a couple of things. Uh. Go okay, I don't want to jump that far. Whoa. Okay, there we go. Alohomora. Woo -woo -woo. Oh, hey, man. I'm leaving. I'm leaving. Protego. Oh, wrong one. Rebellio. I... Okay, 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 okay. of the school since you saved Mr. Reb and I from the Ashwinders. We have come so far. Rebellion. Next steps in our plan to stop Harlow. Ah, it's in here. But where? I'm sure you had your reasons, but breaking into Alfred Lawley's home wasn't the brightest idea. What are you talking about? I did no such thing.
Okay. Anyways. Quests. Should I talk to Moon? Or should I talk to Poppy? Or... I'll go talk to, uh, what's-his-face? Mr. Moon! Revelio. Where is... Wrong thing. This ground staircase. Pretty fun. Think about doing this castle in Minecraft. You should consider carrying a protection charm. I foresee. I know, I know. Mr. Moon, Mr. Moon. Mr. Moon, I've learned who's behind the Demi Guy statues. It was a classmate of yours that you bullied, Piers Pemberton. Oh, am I a known? Pigtails Piers. Ah. I don't think he likes being called that. Of course he does. Oh, we had such flowing locks. Oh, we used to laugh about them. <laughs> I laughed the hardest of all. Clever, clever man. Hmm. I'd no idea he was so devious. <laughs> I must go and congratulate him. Whatever statues remain seem less terrifying now that I know they were put out by old pigtails. Continue huh. collecting them if you like. As for me, I'm gonna go and pay a visit to my old friend. Right, right. Boom. Wow. Wow. Hello, kitty. All right, I'll continue next time. Maybe do either Natty or continue doing Poppy or maybe just the main quest. 